Jerry, do not jump off of the rack shelf. No. Oh, ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're going to do an update on some of the animals in this room that I haven't updated in a long, long time. We're going to do that. I'm going to make sure my room is... You know, it smells really good in here. Even if it looks like it's a little bit of a mess, got all my stuff set up back there, all, all messy, but it smells really good in here, which is my favorite thing about... Well, the thing I hate is walking in a snake room, it smells like butt. This one doesn't, so that's nice. I want to tell you guys a little bit what I've been up to this morning before we check out the animals. Um, I went to the, a school this morning. I was invited by a uh, buddy. That they needed some people to just play some rock music for uh, elementary school, just for like a rock your school type of event, and... We did it on no practice and just went out and rocked it, and it was so much fun, dude. And uh, generals gathered in their masses, just like witches at black masses. I'm looking to bring some more music stuff back to the channel in the very near future. I know a lot of you guys are missing the Music Mondays, so we are planning to bring some of that back. It's just been really hectic, has it, <laughs> hectic and busy around here, so I promise that will happen. We are going to Tinley next weekend, and then Clint's Reptile Room. Uh, grand opening. I believe that that's going to be something for me as well. Hopefully it is because I am on the flyer. Um, so yeah, let's check out some animals. First animal we're going to look at here on the old Freedom Breeder rack shelf is Jerry, our big old fatty McFat Stacks <laughs> African bullfrog. This is what Jerry used to look like. And we, we thought Jerry was a boy, um, but it turns out that Jerry's likely a girl. So I don't know, Jerrica or Geraldine. You know, anything like that. But still Jerry. And <laughs> just such a cool animal, dude. Look at look at this. Look at this crazy animal. Look at you, Jerry. Look at you. You're a champion, Jerry. Looking great. How's this feel? I'm, I'm filming on my phone today. I'm trying to get some nice cinematic shots. Jerry, do not jump off of the rack shelf. No, uh, it, it. Jerry, don't go in there either. You don't know what's in there. What if there's a snake in there? You don't know. Don't do it, Jerry. Just hang out there, looking all shiny and fat and wonderful. Jerry eats just about everything. Um, I mean, we usually feed her little rodents, uh, you know, some little you know, crickets and mealworms and roaches and stillborn baby ball pythons. <laughs> Basically, any, anything and everything. I'm just ow. Watch out! Make sure you close all your rack shelves. Where are you going, Jerry? I'm just I'm just testing out the cinematic mode on this phone. I'm, I'm feeling like I want to film with my phone on some of these travel things just to make it like a little nicer. Jerry, how's, let's how's, let's just test this out, Jerry. Oh yeah, look at how nice and focused and nice beautiful background blur in the background. So nice. That's such a beautiful shot. Hi, Jerry. <laughs> Get some of that frog funk off there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's good old Frank, our scrub python. I was going to pull him out and put him on the rack shelf, but he's looking really nicely situated here. I, I've never really seen him coil up quite like this. Um, Frank, you're looking great. You're looking fantastic. Um, I don't think we're going to disturb you. You're just looking too beautiful to disturb. Sometimes he's just kind of wrapped up in stuff or just doing whatever he does. In here, when I'm not looking, I usually open it up, and he's like, seems like I always catch him off guard, like he's like he's into something that uh, I'm catching him doing. And right now, he just seems like, nope, I was up to nothing, literally nothing, curled up like a donut. This is all I was doing, and you missed nothing. Look how good that shot looks. It's absolutely incredible. Look at the iridescent man. This is this is a gorgeous shot. I I think I just sold myself on filming with the iPhone. Man, these cameras have come a long way. Gosh, that is incredible. 
lot of you may remember our indigo snake here, Midnight. Haven't shown her in quite some time. Um, she is a woo! She's a champion. She's looking great. Uh, I'm really looking to get her a boyfriend at some point. Some of you guys may remember Sunset, who passed away due to some very uh, gnarly and aggressive carcinoma. Um, was going to be her boyfriend for making babies at some point in the future, but that is not happening uh, for you know because we don't have sunset anymore unfortunately but with her i was really hoping to find a male at some point and i still have plans to do that she's looking great it's kind of interesting to me because it's like the one species of snake i have that the female is smaller than the male and i it's just my brain is like why is the female so much smaller than the male i doesn't she need to lay eggs like shouldn't she be bigger i, I, I don't know she's not she, that's how big she is right there. I've seen some males that are just huge. But she's looking fan flippin -tastic. And, yeah, that's a good-looking snake right there. Indigo snakes are still, like, my favorite snake on the planet. Uh, I love this wide angle. You, you want to go back in your little thing there? Dude, she looks so good. And this camera looks so amazing. I'm really going to film with this from now on. So nice. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. I should take a look at the queen here, our clown pied female, the girl that got us started breeding ball pythons in the first place. Um, she has not produced clutches for the last two years in a row, so I'm hoping this will be the year that she decides it's time to start making some follicles again, and that would be great. Wouldn't that be great? That would be great. Really like to get this Sunset Clown Pied project going, and she's kind of key in doing that because uh, I was going to put the male Sunset with her, and the plan was to get some triple het babies, but uh, last two years has been on hold. You know what, Queen? If you don't if you do not do it, that's fine. I won't be mad at all. I'll be like, I've always loved this little F pattern on just like an F hole on a violin. or a good, It's cool. Well, she's not going to be up to the challenge, and at least we've got this girl right here who is going to be taking her place in some years if she doesn't do it. And I, I know she will, but like this would just be another one to include in the project, a little hold back of ours, and she clown pied, and she cinnamon sunset clown pied, yellow belly. So just a little tiny part of the project, not in any kind of rush over here, just, just would love to see. I mean, this animal is beautiful in its own right, but would just love to see that project in you know, 10 years, whatever. Keep following, see what happens. If there's an animal that you know I have that you really would like to see, they haven't seen an update on it in a while, leave a comment down below. Let me know what that animal is, and we'll give you an update there. I'm about to go head over to my buddy's house and head up, help him set up my drum set at his place so that it's there and we can rock out um, anytime. So, it's been a good day. This dude has been whooping me. And she says, he beat me twice this week in chess. And I don't take it easy on these kids, man. I, I play like I'm playing against. There's no going easy over here. That's not how we do things. He beat me twice. Caught me slipping. What are we doing? Best out of three? Sure. Dad, you won. Look. He just beat me again. Third time this week. Beat me. It's ridiculous. I'm not like a slouch in chess. But I was I was distracted, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I can make all kinds of excuses. I, I lost. <laughs> Yeah, you lost. It's true. Mm -hmm.